I want to start off this segment with a little bit of advice for all our Muslim listeners. See, a lot of Christians think the Quran is a wall-to-wall blood fest about proper Jew-boiling technique, but a lot of moderate Muslims are making a concerted effort to explain to the world that that's only part of their book. Now look, after reading more than 80% of this book, I can say with certainty you're better off with this misconception. Look, Muslims, let people think your book is badass and evil because if they look past the murdery bits, all they're going to see is definitive confirmation that some schizophrenic yelled at a guy with a pen for 23 years. Yeah, and not in a good way like John Nash. (laughs) Muhammad never quite managed any uh, Nobel quality stuff, did he? No. Also, that reminds me, it's been a couple weeks since I told the guy who sent us the apologetics email to go fuck himself. Fuck you, dude. Check. (laughs) <laughs> and of course, fresh from pouring over our wedding vows to see if break down holy books on a triweekly basis is actually there is my lovely wife, Lucinda. Lucinda, welcome back. You clearly wrote that with a crayon after the fat, by the way. I just said it was there. I never said how long it had been there. So yeah. why don't you start us off with Surah 41, the Surah whose name doth protest too much, alternately titled Expounded, Explained in Detail, Clearly Spelled Out, Revelations Well Expounded, and I'm the Awesomest at Writing Books. <laughs> And we learn early on in this one that Muslim God isn't taking any shit off of vapor. In in (laughs) verse 11, in verse 11, he says, He turned to the heaven when it was vapor and said to it and the earth, come willingly or unwillingly. They both said willingly. He was going to rape the vapor. (laughs) Yeah, the least rapey thing God has done in a holy book to date. (laughs) Two points. Yeah. Right. Right. If they both came, the willingly part seems redundant (laughs) plus he's creating the universe here can't give him a hard time for just like two days of action and it's been oh like what good behavior since anyway (laughs) um, what about god's swim times (laughs) (laughs) and then uh then god made the stars so if any demons show up he can attack them with Star missiles. Yes. Yeah. So mm. apparently Reagan stole that idea from the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> also, Muhammad is still all hung up on why he can't summon angels. You know, after, after he gets done dictating these things, you know that he goes back outside and tries to summon angels like a constipated German. <laughs> and then we get an awesome new image for Judgment Day. It says when evildoers approach for judgment, quote, their ears, eyes, and it's... skin will testify against them for their misdeeds. Yeah. End yep. quote. <laughs> And how can you not literally picture somebody's eye with a little mouth going, he jerked off in the shower and made me watch. <laughs> Shut up, eyes. Some ears, stupid ears. <laughs> Foreskin gets all mad. <laughs> I can tell you firsthand, firsthand about everything that happened. You wouldn't believe what I've been going through. <laughs> well, there's your out right there, guys. Just line up behind me and you'll be standing in line for all eternity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Please stop, talk, stop. It's fine. Just go to hell. <laughs> No, my elbow's still talking. <laughs> There's so many chickens in that coop. So many chickens in that coop. Sorry about your elbow. But, I mean, mm. but doesn't this also show what a half-ass God Allah is? I, he can't even keep track of shit without asking your skin and your eyes what you've been up to. Get some omniscience, asshole. Right? <laughs> He, he does finally get around to explaining why it was written in Arabic, though. Mm-hmm. And apparently it's because if it was some other language, it would be hard for people to understand, right, you know, instead yeah. of a universal language like <laughs> Arabic. <laughs> yeah. Second only to Arabic pig Latin. <laughs> <laughs> tell you guys how clear this book is? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yeah. And it says that everyone would be skeptical if the book was in a different language than Arabic because Muhammad is an Arab. <laughs> so just... Why not get, like, a, an Esperanto guy to be the messenger? <laughs> right. Or get an English guy. God didn't see the internet coming? Go, yeah, plan ahead. Shit. Right? And, and then we close on a classical bit of, well, if they doubt my claims, I'll claim them again, argumentation, and this one is over. Yeah. On nice to, to have everything so clearly expounded. And then we're off to Surah 42, titled, alternatively, Life, the Universe, and Everything. But not really, because this book sucks, so it's called The Consultation. Yeah, and apparently this is where God revealed to Muhammad that he needed to go take over Mecca. And again, and again, if you want a clear idea how limited the scope of Muhammad's knowledge is, he refers to Mecca as the mother of all cities. Yeah. Yeah, Constantinople, Baghdad, Beijing, and Ogallala, Nebraska. <laughs> oh, man. How great would the Hodge be in Nebraska? <laughs> Run, damn it. It keeps you warm. <laughs> They'd be they running. They do have no Jews here, though. <laughs> <laughs> Already got plenty of experience with uh, 
religious idiots and stampedes. So yeah, yeah that works exactly. Well. Exactly. Um, sure. This is also where it says that God could have made heaven and hell just you know right next to each other, adjacent, so the good Muslims could watch the Jews suffer like a torture zoo. But yep. he chose not to, which means. Muhammad was clearly pissed about there not being a torture zoo. <laughs> yeah, he must have asked, yeah. Much like myself. Yes. <laughs> People at the Disneyland complaint departments are very rude. Foreskin's <laughs> <Very rude. laughs> off for Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> he also explains that y y you can tell Islam is the right religion because it hasn't divided into sects like Christianity and Judaism. It's like, <laughs> you're still writing the fucking book, bro. <laughs> It should be like a movie advertising itself as the newest. Right. <laughs> also, in modernity, that may be the most damning, considering all the Apre and Erdeme, you know? <laughs> what? Too Sunni? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Aisha's too old for the Shiite. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. I love his little bullshit lament about our stubbornness, too. In verse 17, he says, What will it take to convince you? And I'm all like, you know, evidence of any sort, yeah, maybe. Help. He says, okay, yeah, but what other than evidence? Yeah. It, Just a little bit describe hell again? I'm here for yeah. you. I'm here to help. <laughs> Do you hear Satan wouldn't bow to Adam? No. Unbelievable. Shit. No, no shit. And uh, then in the next verse, it says that the world is going to end soon. Mm. And non-believers are trying to speed that up with all the atheist terrorism mm. yes. yeah. that, that's rampant in, in this book. Right. But now, look, guys, the clear signs are everywhere because it says that all things are clear signs of God. So are you trying to say that all things aren't everywhere? Airtight. There you go. And by the way, in Muhammad's mind, a lot of what makes heaven paradise seems to be watching other people march into hell. He just he lovingly describes what that's going to be like constantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he is really lobbying for that torture zoo. He wants to see him go in at least. Yeah. He'll have those like coin op binoculars in heaven. <laughs> and, uh, it's not quite the same. That's pretty good. God's not great, but he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, I got to point out this strange effort to hit the word count. And in verse 49, he says, God will grant female offspring to whoever he likes, and also male offspring to whoever he likes, and also both male and female offspring, or no, offspring, or whatever the fuck he wants. Covering his face is like Dr. fucking Seuss again. And, yeah. and, and Inside out eyelids offspring. <laughs> Kidney stones. And, and then it's on to Surah 43, the gold adornments. Mm -hmm. And this makes three surahs in a row that start off by saying, this chapter is going to make so much sense, y'all. You could tell that was the Wait. complaint yeah. he was yeah, fighting that's against. Muhammad is the ancient Arabic version of the friend who goes, but wait, 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 wait. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I call it. B flat. Wait, no. B flat. <laughs> yeah. B flat. Inward flat. singing. Wait. And, and one of my favorite things about the Quran is that at least half of it is just, it's just got in the gaps, but it's frozen in time. So instead of, oh yeah, if there's no God, explain abiogenesis and the cause of the Big Bang. It's stuff like, oh yeah, if there's no God, then explain where rain and boats come from. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. How many fingers? Dude, I'm standing behind you. Okay, well, how many now? <laughs> Still right behind you, bro. Three. Yeah. He literally goes back to the boat thing. Here. He does. It says, I provided you with ships and animals on which to ride. Like, like half this book might as well be Muhammad rapping with T-Pain. I'm on a boat. <laughs> I'm riding on a dolphin doing flips and shit. Take a good hard look at the motherfucking boat. Really? He also seems to think that couches made of silver would be a good comfortable thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, we don't we don't think that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a birthday gift of Heaths to return. <laughs> it's too late now. <laughs> too late now. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Saudi version also mentions elevators, uh, <laughs> silver elevators from the seventh century. So maybe you're just gonna store credit. So like, <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. We'll I'll get you a gift certificate. <laughs> And just when you thought being an infidel was going to suck, we learned in verse 36 that we each get our own personal devil, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chained to us, no less. Yes, and again, uh -huh. I just, I feel bad for my Satan. Just like, really, man? Chinese food? It's 4 a.m. <laughs> Hungry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Most people are sleeping now. <laughs> again, though, the uh, Saudi version is way more interesting. It says we infidels get a Satan to be our, quote, intimate 
companion. Oh, exactly. really? Sexy. Works. We get a demon fuck buddy. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. Don't save me a bunch of money on action figures. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get our first Moses sighting of the week. Drink. <laughs> and then Allah makes it clear that Muhammad is way better than Jesus. Mm. Allah. Allah said that. Well, Allah. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and that's all the that that you get, I guess, because now we're on to Surah 44, The Smoke. Yeah, and apparently The Smoke in the chapter title refers to a day when God will prove he exists by sending clouds of smoke from the skies, also known as clouds, yep. <laughs> which right. will envelop the people. So there will someday be fog. Yep, that's good. That's his big opening <laughs> prediction for Surah 44. Yep. <laughs> there will be fog. Yep. We also get Muhammad trying to establish that he's uh, not ignorant, like everyone says. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and he does this by hiding the, the compliment that's not real inside an insult. He, he claims that... All the non-believers called him, quote, educated, yeah, but crazy. <laughs> so, like, what, what's the opposite of a humble brag? Is it? I guess it's a lie in this case. <laughs> <Right. laughs> yeah, exactly. And then we get another Moses sighting in verse 17. Drink! And again, I can't stress this, stress this enough. We're not learning new shit about Moses. He's telling the fucking Pharaoh story again, just like he did in the last Surah. Also, it reads like he thinks Egypt isn't there anymore. Uh huh. Did nobody tell him it was? Oh, Molex I... object permanence. Just like no <laughs> mo, moon isn't gone forever. I'm telling you, put it in the book. Put it in the book that I <laughs> invented there. the moon and I'm mad now, and they're not giving it back until <laughs> everyone admits that I'm smart and handsome, but a little bit on the wacky side. <laughs> really good. Oh, okay. Is this a good Tinder bio? <laughs> And about 80% of the questions Muhammad asks are nowhere near as rhetorical as he seems to think they are. Like, in verse 37, he says, like, were the people of Egypt any better than the people of Tuba? Like, we're supposed to know whether or not that was, they were? I, <laughs> yeah, and especially after they've died already. I mean, that's just Tuba thumping. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently he likes the Zakam tree, too, because, uh, you know, with the demon head fruits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he brought it back up for a cameo in this era as well. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then he closes out the chapter with more about the boiling water. It's going to make everyone get that annoying, empty stomach feeling. <laughs> yeah. And it actually gets dumber this time. I, I really don't think he understands what boiling water is because he gets all angry and starts yelling like, taste it. Taste the boiling water. Like the flavor is. <laughs> <laughs> taste the nothing. Doesn't taste. And then uh, I guess rather than desperately scraping through that one for more uh, something that he hasn't said before, we're going to push th forward to Surah 45, the kneeling down. Which, spoiler alert, has no blowjobs in it. Mm -mm. Oh, damn. Mm. 20 bucks, Heath. 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and we get an early checkmate question from Muhammad when he asks, if you don't believe in this revelation of God, which revelation of God do you believe in? Yeah, right. And is his bigger than mine? <laughs> okay, I just inferred that last part. But... Girthier margin, scribe. Girthier. <laughs> what are you talking about? And look... This motherfucker isn't even trying. In verse 26, he's talking about the resurrection, and he, and he tacks this on at the end. Quote, blah, blah, blah. The day of resurrection, about which there is no doubt, but most people do not know it. End quote. <laughs> so do they think they doubt? What the fuck can those two phrases possibly mean in concert? And that and some more people who don't listen to me are going to burn in hell stuff. And then we're on to Sarah 46, the dunes. And this one is going to start off with some more of, uh, you know, my revelation is bigger than yours talk. Yeah, right. And it's so fucking no, stupid because he's the one claiming that books of revelations are the indicator of holiness. Mm -hmm. It would be like me saying, like, I have the biggest magical paper mache power ranger in the world. You saying it's not <laughs> magical and me insisting you prove it by showing me a bigger magical paper mache <laughs> power ranger. <laughs> Yeah, this is the religious version of, well, my dad weighs 10 million billion infinity <laughs> pounds. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. And then one verse later, Muhammad accidentally grants magical powers to an enormous paper mache power. Right. <laughs> right. He basically says, just wait for judgment day, you fucking heathens. You're all going to pray to your false deities, but they're going to stop doing magical god stuff with Fuck. Uh, continue <laughs> not doing magical god stuff just like the whole time how they weren't before still not doing it yeah but that argument may actually be better than a second one which is well if i'm making all of this god will burn people in hell stuff up god would burn me in hell yeah right 
Yeah, and you can tell how desperate he's getting because in verse 10 he says, okay, what if I find a Jew who says this shit sounds legit? Would you believe me if I had a Jew? <laughs> he really does. He does. Amazing. Yeah. What about a Jew with glasses? A, <laughs> a black friend of religious yeah, testimony. Right, right. <laughs> There's also a ton of, and hey, this book's so accurate that if I weren't telling you I wasn't a sorcerer, people would totally think I'm a sorcerer, <laughs> which is how you know I'm not a prophet, sorcerer. I'm a prophet. <laughs> and, uh, exactly. And now I'm going to tell you more about my wizard magic while drinking this glass of water. <laughs> and, oh, oh, don't write that down. Don't write that down. Oh. <laughs> Scribe. <laughs> and every argument is just as circular. Later on, he says, "Hey, look, other towns have been destroyed before, right? And none of them were Muslim towns because I'm still writing the book. Therefore, all the previous <laughs> religions must be wrong." Mm -hmm. It'd be like me running for president on the platform that I didn't authorize the Iraq war. <laughs> and I'm going to build a wall around Mars and send them the bill. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> and, and when they're not circular, they're just insane. Like after that, he says, and remember that time God sent a bunch of demons to listen to the Quran and the demons all thought it was really good. <laughs> How do you explain that? What? What? <laughs> Yeah, sure, you assholes don't like it, but Debert and Raper gave it two tentacles up. <laughs> <laughs> and then we move on to our final surah of the night, number 47, the self-titled Muhammad. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I half expected them to call this chapter just me, the guy who's talking about <laughs> <laughs> And we finally get some more explicit instructions to murder and enslave non-Muslims. Right. I'll be honest, I was starting to think that, you know, Muhammad was getting a little soft there. Been a bit. Sure, Been a bit. back in my younger days, I told you to kill some people. But now that I'm older, I look back at my life and I wonder, how do you explain boats? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but no, verse 4. Quote, when you meet those who deny the truth in battle, strike them in the neck. And once they are defeated, make them prisoners. Yep. End quote. So, official position of the religion of peace, karate chop people in the throat. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> to be Correct. fair, though, my version says strike off their hand and make the rest slaves. So. Oh, exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what most of them say. And, but now, of course, it does say you can ransom them off after the war is over. So let's not leave out the most moral part. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then it says, yeah, this was all just a test, though. God could have throat punch murdered all those people if he wanted to. He was just making sure that you guys are good at that, too, because right. he's a good teacher. You know, it's from that old saying in uh, education circles, tell me, I forget, show me, I remember, involve me in the neck punch murder enslaving, and I understand. <laughs> exactly. oh. You should and teach at British primary school. <laughs> <laughs> And then he makes with a description of Muslim heaven, and it sounds like a four-year-old telling you about the magical land in their closet. Doesn't it? Apparently, there's a water river, a milk river. Seems really <laughs> fucking gross, but okay. <laughs> also, it a doesn't wine... change flavor, guys. It doesn't change flavor. <laughs> Says in the book. <laughs> there's also a wine river, which I can get behind, and a honey river. <laughs> and uh, all the beds are made of wet sugar. Yeah, yeah <laughs> right? Fuck? <laughs> really? Also, there's a lot of fruit. Mm -hmm. And you can tell that even the scribe was looking at him going, that's it? You don't want me to, like, maybe add streets of gold or a, a few virgins? Or... <laughs> Sounds kind of crazy. Because right after that, he launches into this unprovoked reminder that the other option is bowel-boiling soup world. Yeah, right. right. So... Well, in my version, he, like, takes a minute to point out how clever that is. Like, he's like, you see? The good people get water, so do the bad people. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what a great poet I am in a second. <laughs> <All right. laughs> And I'd love to live in a world where this went without saying, but books of true stuff never formulate their arguments along the lines of, you know, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides, because if not, demons will melt your balls. This is not how true shit works. No. But, but I'm opening to trying. See, see how fast black lives start mattering if waterboarding is involved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. I think it's about time for some affirmative action style Tuskegee experiment. <laughs> oh, oh shit. shit. You see that people who tweet at me, you were right about us all along. <laughs> Not me. Kill Not Whitey. Me. Yeah. At Ishmael Brown. <laughs> <laughs> he can handle it. Now, also, and I don't know if this is legally binding or not, I'll have to check with Andrew, but according to verse 29, Allah will bring our malice to light, Yep, which is pretty fucking awesome. No such thing as bad publicity and iTunes, what's hot can go fuck itself if we get a 
tweet from Allah, man. I'm just oh, saying. Yeah. Gravy train. <laughs> Even just a retweet, Mo. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah right? <laughs> <laughs> Something. And all the old classics show back up in this one. In verse 36, he reminds us that dying is no big deal. Mm -hmm. And then in verse 37, he, he reminds us that God could use a f few bucks. But he's good for it. He'll get you back. He'll get you back. <laughs> then it closes with a reminder that God can take his ball and go home and make all new friends to play with if we don't let him play quarterback. Doesn't it? So. And I guess we're going to close there as well. Five more segments to go. And the smart money's on Muhammad having nothing new to say in any of them. No. So I guess we'll sign off the segment with the depressing admission that we're very likely the first four people in human history to think to themselves, boy, I can't wait until I'm reading the Book of Mormon. Fucking, <laughs> uh, it's in my mouth. for the wooden submarines. <laughs> <laughs> the underwear.